Okay, so welcome to this first video for Comp3218, Game Design and Development at the University of Southampton. Uh, my name is Dave Millard and I am here with... Uh, so I'm Ioan Molinov and I'm one of the demonstrators on this course and I did the course last year. Yeah, and I am Adrian Chapman, I am a lecturer on this course. And I should have added that I'm also a lecturer on the course. Um, so, uh, we're about to go through the first three games um, for the first coursework for, for 2020. Um, Age, do you want to say a little bit about what we asked the students to do? Absolutely. The students were asked to pick a core dynamic um, and to assemble a set of mechanics that, um, that support this core dynamic. They were asked to present a tutorial design and uh, think about level design through uh, yeah. by, while building this game. So we're going to be talking a lot about communicating kind of what to do through level design and through kind of prompts on the screen and all those kind of things. So, Okay, well, let's shall we have a look at our first game, um, which I think is called Grapple Brush. Yeah. Okay, so, so the owner's at the controls. So for now, just so I, the mouse. I, yeah. So I presume you just play. Let's play. Yeah. So ah, nice grapple and brush, yeah. very cute. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Timmy was a little boy. For his second birthday, Timmy got a gift. <laughs> grapple brush the toy. Timmy and his toy were really happy together. I'm so pleased. Until one day, oh. Timmy oh. lost his toy. <laughs> Well, this is dreadful. No, no. <laughs> we, we can't let this continue. Okay. Right. So, so let's have a look. So we got so we got the sort of wazd at the top. Yeah. All right. Um, and also a little graphic underneath showing us what's going on. So it looks like we just have to get the grapply mm, thing to the Timmy. Toy to yeah. Timmy. All right. All right. So I I like the introduction. We introduce us to the toy. They introduce us to Timmy. We they see that the toy moves and Timmy doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all good. That's good. All right. Let's try the next one. Okay. Oh, Timmy okay. lost his toy again. He's Timmy pretty, needs pretty to get careless. responsible. <laughs> ah, so, so you have a, you have a space. Ooh. You've also got arrows that uh -huh. do funny things. Ah, so space kind of moves you around. All right, so I and uh -huh. and space yeah. grabs things. Okay. Ah. Very nice. You have okay. to so you can manipulate stuff around. I like that you actually had to use that functionality before you um, could move okay. on. Okay, and here we get the yeah. puzzle bit because you're kind of like, all right, how do I? How do you? Uh -huh, I know. Yeah. Yeah, you have okay. thing. Good. <laughs> hey, Timmy's happy again. So they have some good audio cues. Yeah, yes. the audio is really sweet, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's not. Yeah. Nothing too much. Uh, no, just just for kind of key key actions. Yeah, exactly. Events, isn't it? Oh, uh -huh, so I, I, you know what? So that's an appropriate. Uh -uh, uh -huh. Very nice use of the audio there. Yeah. So again, now we've got a red and a blue. Ah, and this you can see the arrows on it. So I guess ah, I can probably can move, move that one up and down, and, you, and that one side side. Yeah, I. You can move it up. Yeah. Okay. Or down. And this one. Yeah. Got you. So it's kind of yeah. It shows you that. Uh, so I like the way that. So what they're doing in the level design is there. You you had to move the blue one, then you had to move the red one. Yeah, definitely. And in each turn, they're blocking that. That's nice. Very yeah. nice. So they've introduced us to three new elements, yeah. and they've done it all through play. They haven't had to explain anything. It's good. <laughs> Timmy lost his toy again. Timmy oh, okay. needs to learn some lessons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, okay. Oh, this is very cute. It's getting a bit. Oh yeah. Okay. So now. Uh huh. Ah right. So so, so ah, this is this is nice. This is very nice. So you move that up into there, and then that, and then you've got oh, a. Oh. Oh, we can move the whole. Oh, what happens if you move the blue thing across? Will it move the red one across with it? Oh. Oh okay. Let's try that. It shouldn't be. Because you've got the space. Why would they put the space there? No, no, yeah. darn. Because the red one can only move up and down. So now you have to move in and do it. Ah, that's why the space is there. All right. Oh, yeah, and then there you go. And then you go to Timmy. Yeah. That was really nice. So the difficulty slowly. It's yeah, slowly yeah, I like that. Yeah. Very nice. Yep, they're introducing the complexity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Timmy is becoming a little frustrating here. Uh, uh, okay. So now, so now it's hard enough that we might actually get stuck. <laughs> so and they uh, us. 
so uh -huh, so that's like a limited number of moves. Yeah. So I'm stuck. So I have to. Can you leave that up? No, no he's, he's got a limited number. I would call it. Oh, yeah, the, sorry, the number the, there. the number. Yeah. So as soon as you get to the point where you can't undo, then yeah. yeah. This is this is very good. They've taught it to us as well. As <laughs> I love yeah. the brush the I do too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, a small thing could be that there could be a special button that when you pr like R, if you press it, then it restarts immediately because right now it goes into the menu. Oh, yeah. I see. So you, you have to yeah, wait. Yeah. Like it, it's just yeah. small. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I it depends guess... how often you're going to get stuck. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, wait. Oh. I think. Ooh, oh, what happened there? I'm not sure. I'm not sorry. Where do we get to? That's the. I think you got past four. Right? Okay, it was. Okay, so it was five. So I wonder if that was just a little. I have a feeling because oh, I think I think we were pushing buttons over here. Ours oh, okay. escapes. Um, yeah, in, in fast sequence. Maybe. Let, let's say it was user error. Yeah, 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 yeah. To game error. Yeah, yes. not yeah. A... yeah. Okay. And now I need that one. There you go. And now you can make Timmy happy. Yeah. And they yeah. taught us really well because we learned a lot on that yeah. level. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, should we, so should we... this, uh, this game, they said that their core dynamic was spatial reasoning. Yep. And I think yeah. they absolutely nailed it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah they really have. In terms of the mechanics they've given us. Uh, and and um, they've taught us really well in the, in the levels. So, so if we think about the mechanics they've got, they've got the kind of moving blocks around. They've got the uh, limited... The direction they've got different sizes they've got limited number of moves they've got blocks you can't move yeah, yeah. so uh, and i think what they've done is they've, they've got this really nice example of um uh of kind of depth without complexity because they have their mechanics interact with each other in a really nice way yeah okay and you Ah, there you go. Um, to... So, so they combine together. So they've got you know three or four mechanics, but because they're using them all at the same time, you get this great, great big variety. And yep. I think that works really, really nicely. Um, so, yeah. um, should we should we start going through the the the, the sheet here? So we got the, the first thing on our list is um what? is presentation. Absolutely. Yeah. So, what do we think about their presentation? It's kind of. Uh, it's clean. It's really consistent. Yeah. Uh, their information design is really nice, actually. It is really nice. Um, uh, just, just, I, I think they've done a really nice job. Um, and and the same with the with the audio. I mean, I, I so they haven't got any. They haven't got any music, but I don't necessarily no, think, I think that's a problem. I think they've done such a nice choice in terms of the good feedback and the movement yeah. and the bad feedback that I yeah. don't feel that I'm missing movements. I mean, yeah. songs. So my, my feeling is that the, the kind of the just to give us a sense of it, the the good level would be um, key information is shown clearly, graphics are consistent, appropriate mm -hmm. uh, use of audio. I think they're certainly at that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but they might even be excellent. So um, consistent and appealing graphics. Um, and a good use of audio. I, I um, think we're and, I, and I think they're there. They, yeah, they've kind too. of yeah. they've got really nice use of the sound effects. Um, yeah, so I, I think they're, they're excellent for that. Um, gameplay elements. So this is to do with the mechanics they have and the controls. So I think we've, we've already said about how the mechanics work really Absolutely. nice to each other. What, yeah. are, what are controls like? Yeah, and are they kind of? Yeah, it feels pretty natural oh so there's a new oh there's a new one we hadn't mechanic. gotten to this yet oh yeah oh we got a brush oh so we had only had grapple before yeah so... i was wondering why the, the whole brush thing ah. something. okay so if i do that ah so e switches between the grapple and the brush okay yeah uh -huh. okay. okay and then i press face Ah, uh, so so you can you can change the color of your blocks yeah. and then you grapple can... them. Oh, that is so that... sweet. Okay, that's nice. So so for me, you you're obviously better at reading the infographics than I am. This is starting to get to the limit of what I can understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but yeah, I mean that's really nice. And and again, another really good example. So they introduce a new mechanic. But it's linked to a previous mechanic. Those, yeah. those blocks we couldn't move. Yeah. So you know we're we're talking about um, you know a wide set of complementary mechanics. I think they're they're they've done a really nice job. Um, the controls I think uh, are good, um, and they've got that really elusive thing, which is meaningful play. You yes. can actually play it. He is. Yeah. Um, you know, and and it, it kind of is engaging. Um, 
So excellent would be a wide set of complementary mechanics, intuitive and smooth controls, and enjoyable and meaningful play. Uh, they're there. I, they are easily there. How are they Pri- doing on Prizeworthy prize is a wide set of complex and complementary mechanics, and novel controls, and sustained, enjoyable and meaningful play. I, I, mm. I'm not quite sure about the novel controls, but the other things... I actually think the other ones there are there. They, um, they've produced a wide set of I, between I, the grapple and the brush and picking up paint yeah. and moving this. I think for gameplay, mm. I'd be happy to give them a, a prize worthy level. Uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a nice one to start with. This game, I like it. Yeah. Um, and bugs. Um, I would say that what we've got is um, for a, now a playable game. Uh, yeah. uh, there's certainly complexity. There's no obvious bugs. No. Um, so Not that would that, that would be the bugs. kind of the excellent level. And prize-worthy would be if it's, we consider it to be of higher complexity. Also, I just noticed that because the screen is a bit big, we couldn't see... Ah, you It got... says how many moves. Ah, which, uh, okay. okay. Oh, and over there, you could pause, pause it. Oh, that's your escape. And probably yeah. there's something over there. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Ah, that's the currently set. <laughs> okay, that's so, nice. so one of the issues they might have is they, they looks like they haven't got scalable yeah. Yeah. scalable text on those things. But, yeah, um, it's which, not, is, uh, which is why it looks small when we put it on the, the, the big screen. Um, yeah. Um, okay, so um, I think for the terms of bugs, it's again easily excellent. Um, yeah. um, I, it probably, probably, yeah, probably deserves at least to be an excellent one. Absolutely. Um, Okay, so let's have a think about the brief. So the brief was really to think about level design and tutorials. Okay. Um, so again, good would be a sensible level design, demonstrates a number of mechanics, good pacing, and some clear goals, risks, and rewards. So I think the level design is is really very well thought through. Very well thought through there. Progresses really nicely. Absolutely. Um, the, the goals, risks, and rewards thing is interesting. Um, it's a little bit harder to do, I think, with puzzle, it puzzle is. type games. It is. And I will say, I mean, I think this is actually starting to get to the one thing that, that, that I, the one piece that I don't like in this one is that escape button. Um, oh. And it kind of comes back to these goals, risks, and rewards, because at some point you can get yourself into this corner where you just have to give up on the game completely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, there's no, there's no... There's, there's no, so there's a perfect answer, and that's what they're going for. Yeah. And that, that would be a nice goal to have, but it would yeah. also be, well, I can make this choice, and I know it's not exactly perfect. But it will but get me through the level. It, it'll get me through the level, and I so, think that's the only gradation yeah. that's going so on. So there's, there. there's a reason, right, that a lot of these kind of puzzle games, the, the goal is to collect three things before you move on or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the, you know, the idea being that you complete the level with only one or two things, and it still gives you something to come back for. Yep. Um, and, and I think that is missing a little bit yep. here. Um, I mean, the rest of the game is so good. It feels it feels like we're being a bit. Oh, we're totally being nitpicky on this one. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think kind of. Um, um, I, I think that's the issue. There's an issue here with with whether or not you you actually. It's not clear that you actually have any choices to make other than you know if there's just one particular solution. In this um, case, it looks like there could be a. There's multiple buttons. solutions here. There is. Yeah. Yeah. Or, I mean, maybe. So you maybe. could take that bar up. Yeah. You can get the paint pot. Exactly but but again, but, but that's yeah. just multiple solutions. You're not making a decision between do I take the the high road or the low road. That's right. Basically, that's right. Um, so so for me, I, I still think I still think that the rest of the level design is so good, and the way that it demonstrates the mechanics is so good that it's at least a good, and it may even be worth pushing up to an excellent, um, even though that that aspect is missing. Um, I think that's kind of yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, does that sound reasonable? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's um, interesting actually. So we often try to we ask the students to take feedback during yeah. uh, previous sessions of this play. One of the feedback uh, that they had actually received was um, that the core dynamic was uh, not supported by the themes and aesthetics of the game, and they uh, you know there was no motivator no no motivation for the player to complete the rhythms of challenges. Yeah. and so they they started they they tried to address this by actually adding in the narrative of Timmy and Klein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Which kind of works. It's a neat, a neat yeah. little premise, yeah. you know. Um, um, the tutorial elements. We we kind of we we. Oh, oh you're back being there. Yeah. So yeah. so, but the tutorial elements that they they show. Actually, this is probably a good time to do it. So if you if you if you go through them again, we'll see them. Yeah. Um, so, so again, what we're looking for is sort of integrated tutorial um, that yeah. communicates uh, what's going on. Um, I think they mostly pull it off. They, they, yeah, they, they do. 
it feels part of the game. If it's not instantly obvious, it's it becomes obvious after yeah. a, after a little bit of interaction. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and and one of the things they did really nicely was later when they did the paintbrush. Yeah. You you had even already commented on this that yeah. they'd introduced bricks that hadn't moved and could be painted, but we didn't know what to yeah. do with them yet, and, yeah. and so they were able to immediately. Know. So so again, that's that's at the kind of excellent level for this, which yes. is integrated tutorial introduces information mechanics on a logical way and builds on what's gone before, and that's what we mean. That's um, so uh, a prize worthy one would be fully integrated um, and introduces things in a novel but logical way. Mm -hmm. um, it, it it doesn't feel quite there. It feels it like doesn't more. Feel quite the, novel, it, but they're doing yeah. very well. They're doing. I mean, it, it, it feels like it's at the, the the top end of the the excellent. I point. agree. Maybe maybe a little bit between the two, perhaps. Yeah. Okay, so core dynamic. So you were just saying a little bit about this. So what what did they say their their core dynamic? So their was? core dynamic was spatial reasoning, and yep. I think they nailed that completely. Yeah. Um, the feedback. So some of the feedback they got from that was that the mechanics did reflect that core dynamic, but to be careful about extra features um, so that it doesn't deviate from that dynamic. Mm -hmm. So they yeah. chose to actually get rid of a timer, and I think that was an excellent oh, choice yeah. on their part. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so that it so that it didn't become like a race to the end yep. style game. Yep. And they, they mm -hmm. thought about that, and I thought that was very nice of them. Um, but they did replace it with a move counter, which actually in our current uh, yeah. video, it's, it's so harder to see. Right at the top, move forward. Right at the top, yeah. right. Um, yeah. To help the player uh, keep track of the special reasoning skills oh, uh, sure. and try to improve them. That well, I think it's, much, it's certainly a much better... I, I think that that fits much better with the spatial reasoning and the puzzle. Type yes, yeah, I agree yeah, completely. Yeah. So, um, so in terms of their core dynamic, I think they've identified it right to what they've got. <coughs> um, uh, so again, excellent would be suits the theme of the game, is well supported by an integrated set of mechanics and appropriate audio video, audio -video choices. Uh, definitely there. The, the the prize worthy one would be um, uh, it's entirely supported by a well integrated set of mechanics and resonant audio visual. I think they're they're almost there. They're, they're kind almost of, there. I yeah. feel a little. I feel a little bit like I would have wanted just just that tiny bit more, and I can't put my finger on what that tiny bit is yeah. to make it prize worthy. But one. that kind of is certainly maybe maybe again halfway between Absolutely. the two. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, isn't isn't such a bad yeah bad idea. And and then the last thing then is the feedback. So. We just uh, we just talked about what their feedback is. Um, it sounds to me like they made a they, they, they made a very good choice and it's did. worked well. Yep. Um, the only thing is is that we didn't notice it, um, and therefore we we've been playing the game pretty much entirely without successfully it. without it. Yeah. So that I, I yeah. So maybe they could have done a little bit more with that mm. to to make it yeah, part of exactly. the puzzle. I do wonder if it would have actually so we had had the feedback of we didn't like yeah. that they had to do the reset because yeah. we've run out of moves. I wonder if that would have helped us more then and would have calmed that down a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, also that that gold risk rewards thing, you know, there there may be multiple solutions, but maybe some of those solutions or or that it looks like there's multiple solutions, but some of those solutions actually don't give you enough. You haven't got enough moves to do it. Yeah. So yeah. what you have is you, and I and I don't get a sense that they've they've incorporated that not yet. But again, mm -hmm. I still think that they've oh the feedback was they've they've, addressed. They've, yeah. Yeah, they've done a good job. So uh, again, excellent would be feedback was clearly articulated, interpreted, and reasonable changes have been successfully made. Um, and praiseworthy would be effective changes have been successfully made. And I would say it's somewhere between the two again. Agreed. Um, for that for yep. that reason. Yeah. So um, yeah, a really nice well really done, nice thing to start with. Yeah. Really nice game to start with. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, right, let's move on to our next game. Okay, so our next game is called Quest Emporium, um, and it's uh, just me and Tom for this one. Yep. So Tom, uh, you you've got the the controls again. So yep. we've got so we've got a lovely little title screen here. We've got, I guess, sort of the main game, and then you know the uh, upcoming uh, DLC. Yeah, yeah, little little DLC, nice touch. So, okay. greetings, adventurer. My name is Tyne, and I am the elder of village Sindar. I'm in need of your help, Balg. They've spent their time sort of headbutting the keyboard to get these names, haven't they? A standard the fantasy mountain... name generation. <laughs> the evil mountain troll has stolen our treasure, but it will not make it through the winter. Our young warriors always try to recover it, but the beast is corrupted. The local elements, I'm afraid this task is too much for us to overcome. We have heard of the great deeds the warrior Eldar has accomplished. And of his legendary bravery. Help our village and we get a third of the treasure. We will be forever grateful. So I, so, think, um, I think we're the legendary warrior, Eldar. 
Yeah, I hope so. Uh, unless we're bald, but you know, we'll find out. Um, I like I like the premise. I like, um, in fact, you know, we're, we're going into the narrative course, course we're in, and we talked about a premise, and a premise can really set you up and give you some kind of motivation. So I like the fact they've got a premise. Yeah, although um, it is quite I, a lot of text just to sort of dump yes. on the, like in the f very first screen. Like even if they just sort of broke it up into a couple of lines with a sort of click through to continue, it'd be a bit easier yes. to consume. Yeah, and, and ideally incorporate it into the game into the world, game world in the, itself. Yeah, in, in the same way that it looks like they've done with the with the controls, right? Yeah. So, okay. So you've got attack. Yeah, but nice to have it. Nice to have it. So you can um, attack. Yeah. You can sort of move around. Yeah, we can and look around. Nice. Okay. These are some quite small trees. A, yeah, it's like somebody's got a Christmas. They've got a Christmas tree shop. He's got Christmas tree shopping. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, so I played this in the expo and. And so it kind of, it's a bit odd in that you have these kind of totems that you end up fighting. So okay. this is the well, let's, first Let's give one. it a go. So, so, I, so good things. I like the little light, light thing to show you where to go. And I like the fact that contextualized prompts pop up to tell you what to do. Okay, so red bad, stand here. Good. Um, yeah. Something exploded over there. So I guess, so. Attack. So, yeah, so I, so I also had a look at this in the expo, and I noticed that you can actually just sort of do this. Yeah. And not worry about the moving or attacking, and it's kind of a shame that they don't enforce that more in the tutorial. Yeah, I says, what's, what's the consequence of standing in the red bit for that? Mm -hmm. uh, when you say the red bit, the red light, yeah, you sort of take the red light. damage, I think. Yeah. I don't know if you take the damage in the tutorial. You do at this bit. Yeah. So we come to another one. So I, I, to be honest, I, I did find the, the I, I got used to it in the end, but the information design here I found a bit odd. So the fact that you've got this kind of egg, which represents its health, and, and it shrinks little, every time you attack it. Yeah, and you've got the little red got, light that it's about to attack, so you should Yeah, move. sort of another little red egg that kind of appears. Um, so, so the it, principle, I think, is good. The principle, which is, you know, give, give you a clue that an attack's coming and get you to move. But, like, weirdly, it's a yeah. shame that they didn't stick with just the sort of red pillar of light that they had over here. Like, that would have probably yeah. been a better, you know, telegraph of yeah. the attacks. Yeah. And, and the other thing I find really odd is that circle of lava. Um, I, when I very first played it, I just assumed that that would do me damage. Yeah. And, you know, basically, what I was trying to do was to rush in and, and time my attack and then rush out again. So I th um, think that's just supposed to signify that that one's an earth elemental, this one was a fire elemental, but it, it's weird yeah. that it doesn't disappear when you kill it. Yeah. Um, and and, the, and actually what it encourages you to do is a bit unfortunate, because they, they, they have one slight problem with this, which is that, um, if I remember rightly from talking to them in the expo, they, they couldn't get the running and attacking animations to, to flow together properly. Um, so as a result, you have to stop to attack. Um, so the fact that the game kind of suggests to you that you ought to rush in and attack and then rush out again is a bit unfortunate. But so where anyway, are we, where are we, we are. supposed to go now? Because there's a bunch of bad things over there and a bunch of yeah. bad things over bad there. Bad things over there and some mysterious things over here. Um, so again, I, I spent a bit of time in the expo looking at these and poking them around and they just told me that they're, they're just to tell you what the other two things are. So I think they're runes. But I, I, I can't read. Nordic runes or whatever it is they are. <laughs> so that's not. Yeah, I mean, so over yeah. here we've got, I guess, some wind elementals and some earth elementals, and over here yeah. we've got some another fire Ooh. one and some water. Odd that you'd put the yeah. fire and the water ones together, don't they? Yeah. You know, attack each other or something. Yeah. So we've got. Okay. So I'm not entirely sure what the different elements do anyway. So they all behave in the same way, don't they? I was going to say that it seems to be mostly cosmetic. They don't really seem to have no. like any different yeah. attack patterns or. Yeah. They're not weak to certain things, which feels but like a bit of they... a missed opportunity. Yeah, it does. Yeah, they, they kind of had a had a could have done a bit more with it, couldn't they? But I mean, now now you've got used to the to the to what's going on. You know, you are you are kind of playing it. You don't know what you're doing. It's kind of um, what are what's it like to control and things? Is it kind of looks it's, a little bit sticky? It's a little bit stodgy, so I can't I can't uh, go forward and left at the same time. For example, I can only sort of. Right. Put, not quite tank controls, but yeah, I'm sort of yeah. locked into either strafing or running. Yeah. 
And um, the hip, so for where it telegraphs its attack with this little red thing, it's really not obvious where it's about to hit. So if I sort of yeah. wait for it to, and I move back, I don't get hit. Yeah. But if I move to here, oh no, I still, okay. Like that's the thing, it's really d not obvious yeah. to tell where I'm, uh, where I'm safe and where I'm going to take damage. Um, so, I mean, I think there's, uh, you know, there's a little bit to go, but while you are making your way through, should we start thinking about the, the scheme? Yeah, let's have um, a go at that. So, presentation. So, what do we think? Um, so, satisfactory would be key information is shown, consistent graphics, some audio, uh, so effects or music. Um, so, they've definitely so, got the audio. There's, there's like different music tracks. There's the sort of damage noise. Yeah. So, it's obvious when I have taken damage. At least that's quite nice. And I think. So, I'm not, I'm not... So I think, and the key information, you've got your healing potion things at the top, you've got your health bar floating above you. Um, so that, that kind of works. The, the graphics are consistent. Uh, it's well, tentatively consistent. Yeah. You've got, so what, what, there are bits of it are consistent. So you've got, I think the different models are consistent, like the enemies and you, they match. Uh, the kind of trees and stuff. But the landscape feels a little bit still a little bit abstract maybe yeah um but but you know it's not perhaps it's best to say it's not completely inconsistent <laughs> yeah that's what the how way of putting it so um so i think i think actually uh that for information design and maybe for the audio they're they're perhaps a little bit over satisfactory and for the graphics maybe maybe there or a little bit below so i, I think perhaps a satisfactory mark would work what do you think? Yeah, I think so. So I, I, I got slightly absorbed in that little mini boss fight. Yes. So actually, yeah, it's worth saying that. So that's what's on the other side of these things, right? These these bosses. So that was the fire boss, presumably. So now um, I have to presumably backtrack and take away those. Yeah. Okay. So I've got to go all the way back here. That's a bit of a shame. Big bit of a, uh, you know, a big empty, big empty slog back to where you were. Um, okay, well, let's think about the gameplay then. So um, this is essentially mechanics and controls and meaningful play. So you already said that the, the controls feel a bit stodgy. Yeah, like, like you say, it's sort of particularly down to the fact that they're trying to emphasize this idea of, you know, attack and move and doing yeah. the two together doesn't feel very smooth. Yeah, so I think they're unlucky there. I think they, they, they tried hard to get it to work and just couldn't quite do it, but it, it does have an impact. Um, what about the, the set of mechanics? What we've got going on here? We've got the kind of, uh, we've got the the healing potion. We've got the attack. And we've got the kind of the, the sort of indication of where the other thing is going to attack. Yeah. Um, but not much more than that. That's it. The the combat doesn't feel super meaningful. It's sort of like attack, sidestep, attack, sidestep, and occasionally your attack doesn't go off. So you lose yeah. your rhythm and you just take damage. Yeah. Because so, you're locked okay, in so, the animation. Yeah. So satisfactory for this would be a set of mechanics and usable controls that leads to some meaningful play. And a pass would be fewer inconsistent mechanics, challenging controls, and limited meaningful play. Um, so it feels to me that the, the combination of things probably is limited meaningful play. But most so. of the rest of it is probably a bit higher. So, so I would say that it's... It's a bit higher than a pass, and maybe not quite satisfactory. Or maybe it does get the satisfactory. A set of mechanics, usable controls, and some meaningful play. Yeah. So you also have this mechanic of when you choose your little mini boss, you get to choose: Do I want the yeah. the air attack or the, uh, the okay? Earth attack. And you so, actually and you actually get a power up. So that is more of a meaningful choice there, I think. I yeah. Let's go for the air attack. All so, so maybe all may, maybe we should be looking at the satisfactory then for this. You know, there's there's a there's a little bit more going on then. Yeah. And, okay. and actually, and actually, they do have several different types of boss. Well, um, again, you say that in the same way that they have several different types of totem. I, they're not meaningfully yeah. different. It's wait for them to do an animation and then just step yeah. to the right. Yeah. Okay. Well, let, let's let's go for a satisfactory for that and. Um, um, talk about bugs. So, um, bugs isn't just the bugs bit, it's also how complex it is. Um, so, uh, again, a, a satisfactory would be game is playable and reasonably complex, but there are infrequent serious bugs and frequent minor bugs. 
Um, and a good would be game is playable and reasonably complex. There are only minor bugs and these are uncommon. Um, so in terms of bugs, I don't know whether you describe the, the issue with the controllers as bug. I, 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 so no, I think that, I mean, you could describe it as a bug, but as we've already talked about it for the, uh, yeah, for the, sort of the gameplay game side of things, it feels unfair to penalize them for both. And, and, and otherwise it seems to be, it seems to work okay. So there's no obvious issues, I think. It's all working all right. Yeah, um, so I've, there's a couple of bugs where you, see, it, you if you just sort of hammer the mouse button, occasionally you'll just attack extremely rapidly. And yeah. I, so I did play this a little bit earlier, and I noticed that in the tutorial, occasionally some of the messages bug out a little bit and will just be stuck over your head for the rest of the game. Okay. But, I mean, they're fairly minor. Yeah. But, but I think the thing, it should be at least the good level, right? So a game is playable, reasonably complex, only minor bugs which are uncommon. Yeah, I think so. And that, that feels that feels fair. Um, so uh, next up, we have the level design. Okay, um, so they they've put some thought into like a number of different areas. So they have. Yeah. But the way the player is led through it doesn't feel supernatural. So when I got to that mm -hmm. sort of first mini boss. I yeah. sort of assumed that I'd made a choice in my path and then I'd just carry on going forwards rather than having to backtrack all the way and I got a little bit stuck there for a bit. But Yeah. Um so they've sort of pacing wise, like they have some amount of pacing. They have a cluster of enemies and then like I guess what could charitably be called a bit of a lull period to sort of let you regain yes. your composure before the next group of enemies. But there's yeah. not not a lot more to it than that. No. Um, so, a satisfactory would be a sensible level design that demonstrates some of the mechanics with an attempt at pacing and some goals and risks and rewards. And actually, I, I think I think you're you're right that, that the pacing works reasonably well, um, and the level okay. design does so, demonstrate the mechanics. Sorry, can I just grumble about this for a second? So this is the yep. final boss. And it uses yeah. a totally different set of like mechanics than the, what the totems have taught me, and that feels very challenging to back away from. I'm not sure I can actually sensibly do this. Yeah, because you can't rush in and attack. Basically. But still, so when you say it's a completely different set of mechanics, is that because it doesn't warn you for one of its attacks? Yeah, true. It's the same as the, the sort of the mini bosses, I guess. But they have. Oh, okay. I know. Oh, you have failed the village. I just sort of died there. I didn't get hit again. Yeah. Okay. A and then this was a thing that bothered me quite a bit as well. Yeah. We're right back here. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's quite painful. And one of the things um, we did say when sort of doing tutorial design is, like, let your player skip the tutorial. Don't force them through it. Yeah. So um, I, I maybe would have put a I, checkpoint I, before that boss fight. I think, I vaguely remember, I've got an idea that there might be a way of skipping the tutorial. Is there? Um, but I just don't think they tell us what it is. Um, have you, yeah, is there a... I'm just going to turn the sound off for a minute. Yeah, I, I, I've got a feeling, I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember that there's a button you can press and all of these tutorial things just disappear and you can walk through. Well, that that's um, a failure of information design, then, isn't it? Because <laughs> yes, I have no idea what that button is. Yeah, but I can't, can't remember what it is. But I'm, I'm pretty sure you can do it. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, so where were we? We were, we were talking about the, uh, the level design. The level design. So yeah. So I think I think it does demonstrate the mechanics okay. I think there is a attempt at pacing. Um, the goals, risks, and rewards is perhaps a bit more problematic. I. Um, yeah, so to an extent. So, for example, this bit, I, I was thinking, yeah. you know, firstly, is like this is going to be, you know, a sort of big choice. Like, do I fight these ones or do I fight these ones? And then I'll sort of yeah. continue through that, which in itself isn't really a choice because these four monsters are identical. And I'm yes. the The interesting choice is when you get past it and you have to decide whether you want more health or more attack power. That yeah. that is quite an interesting choice, but it's not really integrated well into the game. It's just a big yeah. pop-up that says, "Do you yeah. do you want to choice A or choice B?" Yeah, and you don't necessarily have any information to help you choose. Um, yeah. So, so you know, it, 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 again, if there were different ways of playing the game or different kind of approaches, then you might want to pick something that suits the approach that suits you best. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a blind decision, isn't it? Um, so, 
So okay, so um, for the for the level design, uh, as I said, the satisfactory is a sensible level design demonstrates some of the mechanics with attempt at pacing and some goals, risks, and rewards. Um, uh, and I think it kind of uh, it, it does demonstrate some of the mechanics. Um, it does have an attempt at pacing, and the, well, the goals, risks, and rewards is a bit problematic. Um, yeah. But you might argue that actually it does a slightly better job of pacing and and the demonstrating the mechanics. They're all they're all in here. There's nothing you can do which isn't used particularly. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's just there's so, again there's so there are a number of sort of different mechanics like the fact that hmm. sort of level design wise as well. It's sort of the fact that they sort of bar off different um, bits sort of also yeah. through the tutorial. That's kind of nice. They force you to sort of go through bits of the tutorial. Like they force you to prove that you can. Yeah do bits of the tutorial even if you can't so, skip the entire thing but so, so I is, think um, like, player wise so, my mechanics are quite limited i can yes, i can sort yeah. of attack and i can sidestep and then i can sidestep yeah. back and attack again there's not yeah. a lot of interesting stuff for them to demonstrate so, so, so i like, think we we, t we talked a bit about this in the lectures about sort of the depth and complexity issue and the point is is not to put in loads and loads of mechanics but to have mechanics that work together um and that kind of combine together and do kind of interesting things um and the elemental stuff is probably where they had the opportunity to do this, right? So having you know certain elemental attacks that you can you can choose to use or incorporate or have different effects on the bosses or you know these kind of things. Because um, right now, even even the bosses like they they function exactly as the same as the totems in that yeah. they just sort of they do a little animation and then something next to you explodes. There's no yeah, it's a bit like it's a little bit disappointing. That it's not. So, so I think I think for the level design, probably the satisfactory is about right. Yeah, I think um, so. The tutorial design at the beginning. Um, I know you're busy fighting this stone golem or whatever it is, but so um, we had the sort yeah. of the three pop-ups that told us the basic controls. We had a we thing did. that showed us how we can beat sort of the first totem. Again, yeah, annoyingly, and... it actually teaches us something sort of wrong. So we can just sort of step to the side and ignore the movement and attack aspect of it. Yes, it sort of teaches yeah. you that you, it yeah. will attack you when you move to the other side of it, which isn't the they case. Also, they also have the premise at the beginning, so you kind of know what you're trying to do. So that is true. Um, That's nice. So okay, so again, if we were to kind of um, look at this, a satisfactory would be a partly integrated tutorial that communicates some goals, risks, and rewards through level design, and it introduces most information and mechanics in a logical way. I mean, it feels they've at least achieved that. I, yeah, I think um, the prob the main problem with it is the goals, risks, and rewards. So it doesn't sort of yes. say, you know, yeah. I mean, part of the problem and, is and that I, there is not much in the way of goals, risks, and reward other than that sort of like you say, yeah. the blind choice of this or that. So, so that if the good would be that it's mostly integrated, um, and that it introduces mechanics in a logical way which fits with before. In other words, that the that it builds up over time. And again, the issue here is that there is, isn't that much to build up. Um, so again, it feels it feels like it's probably more at the satisfactory level, maybe halfway between the two because it, you know you do encounter it does lead you through, I suppose. Um, yeah, like yeah. So I, was, I got a bit ahead of myself when I was talking about sort of the fact that they walled off different sections. Yeah. Like it's nice that they get you to try each step of the tutorial. It's a shame that some of the lessons they teach you aren't reflected in the rest of the game and it's yeah. also kind of a shame that like if you you know if you die to the final boss you're forced to go through the entire tutorial again so if we if we think about the core dynamic um yeah what did they say their so, core dynamic for this was so they said their core dynamic is destruction um your goal is to help the village and the only way to achieve it is by destroying enemy characters and defenses so um, I will say that that is probably a suitable core dynamic for this. Certainly, like yeah, core dynamic is what is the fun bit of the game, and that is like the the, the core bit of the gameplay. That is like the yeah. bit that is most engaging. But it, the destruction element of it sort of doesn't feel like it feels a little bit lackluster. Like the mechanics aren't all pulling an, enough towards destruction. Like none of them are working against it. Yeah. So, so sort of this power up. Do I want extra attack or extra health so I can survive long enough so I can yeah. you know destroy more stuff kind of thing? Let's yeah. Go with water just for a change. Yeah, I I, th I think the the 
so again the, the 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 thing we're struggling with is that that actually it all it all it all all the pieces are here right um but because it's lacking that depth it that's what it doesn't have that element of meaningful play so you don't really have a lot of choices over how to attack or what approach to take um you're, you're kind of that and, and i think a couple of times you've described it as a slog mm. and that's why you know you, you know exactly what you have to do every time you do, you go up you hit your sidestep you hit your sidestep you know it's kind of so um while i think it is destruction it doesn't what, what you're looking for in a destruction game is something that revels in the destruction that kind of it feels really good when you're kind of when you're kind of in that mode you know it's the typical kind of power fantasy type thing um so it you know while it's all in the right places it doesn't quite achieve that um yeah so so, so i i don't think so it the theme of the game itself is quite fitting but it's sort yeah. of the, me the mechanics don't necessarily support it in an interesting way yeah so so the satisfactory would be a core dynamic that is a poor match for the theme of the game and is supported by only some of the mechanics and more visual choices. So I think it's more than that. Um, so uh, a good would be a clear core dynamic that suits the theme of the game, is well supported by the primary mechanics and mostly appropriate audio visual choices. And it kind of feels that it's more in that kind of ballpark. Yeah, so I, I have temporarily turned the sound off just so we can hear ourselves talking a bit easier. Yeah. But like, sort of the audio visual choices work quite well for it, you know, like... Yeah. Like you say, sort of power fantasy character de decision wise, they have gone for yeah. a you know, it's a guy with a whacking yeah. great sword and shield. That's that fits yes, really nicely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, actually, though, on that note, so uh, one thing um, one of the demonstrators uh, I think said in the expo when he was talking to them is it sort of yeah. feels like they've they've found a cool art asset and then they've tried yes. to build the entire game around that rather than maybe yeah, going yeah. for something that's like the sort of problem with the moving and attacking i think is down to the animation choices of the assets they've it used is. and, and, it feels and like also the... maybe they should have dropped that and then just found a different asset that had what they wanted yeah. or even just you know sort of clutched it together so you could move and attack and if it looks a little but, bit rough around the edges then it's not the end of having said that you know you don't really use the shield right so there's no yeah that's true so you know there's uh, they haven't they could have done more with the asset that they have chosen as well. So, um, yeah, okay. So, uh, uh, where where were we? We got to the um, yeah. So, so I think so. I think the core dynamic probably still is good, though. It's still you know, it's it, it suits the theme of the game. It's well supported, um, and the audio visual choices basically work. I think I think it's kind of all all in the right sort of place. But it, you know, they 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 to get higher than that, I think they they needed to to build a bit more around it and kind of make the whole experience a bit more meaningful and uh, give you feel like you had some choices about the, the way in which you destroy things. Um, feedback. Um, so they said they had sort of two main bits of feedback. Uh, so the first feedback was making sure the story was brief. So they just had some limited exposition, uh, that they had enough mechanics to support the core dynamic. Uh, to integrate the tutorial into the game instead of keeping it as a separate instance um, and making the boss the main event of the level. Um, so, yeah, they kind of said, you know, we've, we've, we've sort of tried to do that. And the second thing was about blocking off the final enemy until all the weak ones were eliminated, which I suppose is, is what's given them that pacing that we were talking about, um, as, as opposed to letting the player choose whether they could stri skip straight to the final boss. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, and also trying to balance sort of written tips with more interactive ways of experiencing the tutorial. Um, so, um, I, I, I think actually they've, they've responded pretty well there. They've kind of, so the first one was about um, really getting the pacing right and uh, trying to integrate the tutorial into the game. And they've made a really good attempt at doing that. Um, and we did we did comment that that although it's not perfect, there is some some you know some attempt at pacing. Yeah, it, um, I, I certainly think it could have been like more tightly integrated into the sort of the core gameplay. So it still feels like yes. they've they've got a separate tutorial area, and then okay, here's the actual gameplay where you have to fight four of yes. them and then another thing. Yeah. It doesn't. It feels very much like a we're going to wall off the rest of the game until you can do this bit, yeah. and then we'll let you. So, so in terms of the, the criteria, a good would be feedback was articulated and reasonable changes have been successfully made. And satisfactory would be feedback was articulated and some changes have been made with partial success. 
And for me, it kind of feels somewhere between the two. Yeah, they've, they've articulated yeah. the things and, and they have made changes and the, the changes have improved things. Um, but they haven't quite gone. They haven't the taken some of them far enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Perhaps we'll move on. All right. Let's, uh, let's move on. Okay. So our next game is Foxy Run. Oh, that oh, one. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, Foxy Run. Oh, wow. That is a big fox. <laughs> Use the arrow keys to move the hero. One again, press the escape key. So this is just the um, opening screen where you can play around. Okay. It's not the tutorial. It's just like, oh, here's the game. Let me yeah, try yeah. it. What happens if the mouse hits you? You restart. Right. And there's a small bug that you can... So how do you select the play... You can chase the mouse. <laughs> yeah. How... The play tutorial options quit thing. How do you select one? Uh, with the oh, mouse. With the mouse. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. So this is just the menu screen. But yeah. It's a playable menu so, screen. It's quite cute. Yeah, so I pressed on the tutorial. Aha! So to move, press right or left. Okay. Yeah. Let's can you go all the way left? Can we go as far left as we can? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go. Okay. Classic, just... classic Mario thing. Start okay. on the left hand side of the screen. Yeah. But nothing on the screen to tell us we have to move yeah. right. Oh, it's nice to see Fox again. I haven't seen him since. Yeah. Last time. <laughs> so, yeah. so press the jump press, the, uh, jump, press the up arrow key, and you can move all in the air. So I like I like the fact that they that they've done that at the time you need it, but it would have been nice if it was rather than just a big text. So it pauses. You can't move while uh, press down. the down arrow key. You can move while crouching, but the movement will be slower. Yeah, and then to the house, and we're done. Yeah. So level four, double jump. Ah. So there. I think I think what they've done is they've taken they've taken very literally mm. the adage of introduce things gradually. Uh -huh. But what they're doing is they're they're saying, okay, we we'll introduce a mechanic, then the next level is another mechanic, and the next level is another mechanic, and the next level is another mechanic. Yeah. Until you have got you've got the one you play the game. Whereas actually, what you should be doing is is integrating them into the first couple of levels of the game, ideally. Yeah, playing. Yeah. While introducing. So so they've mechanics. kind of they've kind of done some things right. Um, what happens if you jump on the top of the mouse? Uh, you yeah. die. Okay, so you can't touch the mouse at all. Yeah. Or rat, or whatever it is. Oh, it does say, if you try to touch them, they will kill you. Okay. I didn't read that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was so playing now, the game. So now this is basically the first level, right? Yeah. Kind of in, oh, and you have right. a choice. You go under, you go well, over. You, you, you go choice. No, it's not a choice. Uh, <laughs> oh, you got to get four, you got to get all four points. Yeah, which yeah. are over there. Um, Six. Congratulations! Oh. You have now finished the tutorial. Now I can go to the menu and, and play, play the normal game, right? Okay. Which is a full platformer. So while you're playing that, should we should we start going I through? Think we should. Um, so what do we think about the presentation? Um, <coughs> nice, nice little pixel art set. Yeah. Use of they're all the same. It's not. There's no um, strange shapes or, right. or assets used from different packages. Yeah. I mean, you know, they, you, you could have done a bit more with it in terms of the the background or some parallax or yeah. something. But listen to the uh, music. Nice. It's very pretty yeah, music. Yeah, and there's effects. And when you finish the level, there's also yep. a tune. And yep. when you collect coins. It's yep. all good. Yep. 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 Coins, nice yeah, yeah. Ding for the coins. Um, so yeah, I think it's all rather appealing, really. Yes. So um, uh, information uh, again, it's, it's pretty clear. You've got the coins or whatever they are. Yeah, there's Square coins. even a <laughs> um, enemy signpost here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's so nice. everything so, that's so when you come up to it, if it was off screen, you'd see it, and it clearly shows the level. I don't think that like there's nice. a, an, not an enemy signpost, but a signpost for the gap. Yeah, for the water. So if I go sign. in, well, I would probably die. That the health and safety director at this place is maybe yeah. very busy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, okay. So, uh, presentation then. I mean, I think good is key information shown clearly. Graphics are consistent and appropriate use of audio. Definitely yeah. there. Yeah. How are they doing? Excellent. E e excellent would be consistent and appealing graphics with a good use of audio. I think they. I actually get think they're too, been excellent. Actually, yeah. yes. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a, a really nice. Um, so, what does the signpost of left right there mean? Mm. I is it just, you might is have it a choice. just art? You have or a choice. Uh, I mean, left, right. Is it maybe oh, up, there, down as opposed to. Oh, you do have a choice. That's what Yeah, it is, you have I a think. choice. Yeah. Ah, and there's a special red. Yeah, which gives you two. <laughs> so, they, they again, they, they've taken the different paths, different goal, risk, reward things. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they take it to extremes and said, look, you have a different path. 
Um, gameplay. Um, the, comp- the mechanics, they work together, smooth usable controls and meaningful play. Yeah, and I can play with one hand, it's pretty easy. Um, what are the mechanics? You've got the jump, double jump, crouch, pick up coins, crouch, and crouch. Yeah. Yeah, and whatever that health stuff. thing is, what's that double? What's that orange? Isn't it just a mega coin? We haven't uh, heard that, that. Ah, is. yeah, it doesn't say, but it's a two times coin. So if ah. you just get it, then you get two coins rather Extra than coin. one. So I would say that the mechanics that, that, that they they fit with each other just fine. Absolutely. Um, but they're not enormously complex, and although they fit together, they're not they're not complementary in a way that they don't sort of build on one another or or kind of. Uh, or allow you to, to kind of combine them in interesting ways. Um, I, I still think that probably means they're good. You know, a set of complementary mechanics, smooth, usable controls, and meaningful play. Yeah. So this mm. this comes in relation to the core dynamic, and so we might be jumping our, our criteria yeah. a little bit. Mm. Their core dynamic that they list is collection. Uh, and indeed, you do need to collect these score. You know, your collecting scores. Yeah. But and I think this is actually why I'm bringing that up now is because it muddies the water a little bit in terms of the mechanics that they've introduced. So, kind of. what and what is the meaningful play? So, how are we mm. knowing that collection is the key? And what are the meaningful choices that I'm making to get this collection yeah. with the mechanics that they've given us of crouching, jumping? So I suppose I suppose the argument would be that that, that there's an element of spatial sort of puzzler in here. Yeah. But it's in service to the collection because you're trying to collect coins. Yes. Yeah. Um, but we don't know that we're actually trying to collect coins. I mean, maybe this is race to the end. Actually, that's not true because race mm. to the end we'd have a timer. Yeah. I don't see a timer. But it does feel, at least for me, when I play it, it does feel a bit like more of a platformer and collection rather than collection and platformer. Yeah. So... So, so yeah, 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 yeah. So I wonder, yes. So let's go back and look at our mechanics. What is the mechanics criteria again? So we said, um, um, we said from mechanics, a set of complementary mechanics. Please buy the whole game. Sorry, that made me laugh. <laughs> um, uh, smooth, usable controls and meaningful play. I mean, I do think I think they got that. I think they've got that. Yeah. I, think, I think it's a, a good for, uh, for for gameplay, um, and for bugs. Um, Again, good is game is playable and reasonably complex with only minor bugs. Yes. Uh, these are uncommon. Um, Absolutely. And again, I think it's there. Um, maybe even a little bit towards the, the, the excellent and game is the... playable and reasonably complex with no obvious bugs. Actually, it probably is there. It's excellent. Actually. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's excellent for bugs. It's, it's doing well. Um, level design. Um, a sensible level design that demonstrates a number of mechanics with good pacing and clear gold risk rules. That's a good level. Um. Um, I think they're definitely there. They, you've got the, you've got a variety of mechanics. You do have to use them to complete the level. Yeah. Um, the pacing. Do you feel? The, the, do we feel the levels are paced? I thought that the tutorial levels were, could have been paced a little bit more interestingly. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, yeah, I but, think they kind of. But the levels of the game itself were. Yeah, they see. Maybe, yeah. Do, do you feel like they're getting harder, or you're kind of? Yeah, 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 definitely, it's getting more yeah. complex. And it feels like it's you need more skill to continue. So, so I think I think what's I I think what stops it being excellent is the kind of uh, wide range of mechanics and kind of more sophistication around the the, the 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 pacing. But yeah, I think it's still good uh, good for, for level design. Um, what about the tutorial element at the beginning? What do we think? They took it very literally. That they did, I'm going yeah. to introduce that you Which I appreciate. I mean, That's they're, fine. They're, yeah. they're listening, right? They did listen, yes. Um, yeah, so, uh, but yes, I, I they, they, they could have done a bit more to integrate it. Yeah, and in um, fact, one of the things that I was disappointed on is they could have introduced each of those things with some sort of meaningful play as yes. opposed to just get yeah. through this and learn the mechanic. Yeah. So satisfactory would be a partly integrated tutorial. Uh, that communicates some things through level design and that introduces most information and mechanics in a logical way. I think it's more than that. I mean, it was integrated in the game. It just wasn't So good fun. Good would be mostly integrated. Yeah. Um, and it introduces the information and mechanics in a logical way. So I, I'm I, happy with good. I, I, I agree with you. I think, I think kind of they've, they've, they've listened, they've done it, but they haven't gone that extra step and really integrated it into, yeah. into yeah. their game. They yeah. kind of still see it quite separately. 
Um, core dynamic, we've sort of talked about a bit. So. Yeah, absolutely. So the core dynamic was collection for this game. Yeah. Um, did you say race to the end? Did they no, 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 they did not. Perfect. That was me saying the cut. Ah, okay. And in fact, they did not do race to the end. There's no timer here, right? So the collection yeah, is it's signposted that they've got their. I, I think it counter. works. I, I, I think kind of. You know, you, you clearly you clearly know that you're trying to collect stuff. It's quite clear that you've got to get, in this case, 11 out of 11 coins to get there. Yeah, I should um, try to not collect coins and see if when I get to the end, it's, it's something. Did you notice they changed the uh, ending there? Yeah, yeah, it gives you a little... Uh, yeah. yeah, no collection. Because what are the orange coins, do you think? Those are doubles. Uh, yeah. So you get two coins instead okay. of one. Yeah. So, so in terms of their core dynamic, um, so good would be a clear core dynamic suits the team of the game and is well supported by primary mechanics and mostly appropriate audio visual choices. Um, so I, I think I think they're there. Um, that does seem a little bit lacking, like you said. It, it's it's the the challenge here is it is a platforming challenge, um, but you can still. So that's the kind of spatial reasoning aspect. Yeah. Um, okay. Ah, now yeah. here actually, I'm so glad you did that. Now it becomes collection for me. You didn't, you weren't able to finish until you exactly. got those eleven coins. And so they I, were placed in such a way that you would have yeah. gotten them if you didn't I, try to not get them. Do you the the, the the orange coins that give you two? Do you have to get those? Oh uh, no, them? so yeah. they're like they're optional ones that help yeah. some other things. So that that is an element of choice then. You There's can either try and go for yeah. hard ones or pick up the easy ones. Yeah, exactly. Um, but again, I, it, I don't know whether it kind of feels, you know, what you're. Yeah. But again, I'm not entirely sure what you're choosing between there. You're choosing between a slightly more difficult thing that lets you miss out two slightly easier things. Yeah. So I suppose it's your time. But there's no kind of high score maybe. But there's no yeah there's no timer element to say that you're. So so I think that so I, I think that's it. I think I think those double coins would work if there was a timer. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. But then mm. you get the confusion with the with race to the end. Yep. Yeah. And so in this case, you pretty much except for one jump that you walked up to get that mm. double coin, you pretty much walked across yeah. this entire thing, and you're well yeah. above your eleven meter. Exactly. So it would be a better collection game if you didn't just if the coins were placed in such a way that you had to make a choice to go exactly. get them or yeah. beat a character or you had to do a harder yeah. jump like or, in this case that, that's, a, that's good. a great collection game because exactly. now you have to think about do I choose to go get it and, and watch that enemy yeah. so there's your choice you can you can you can go and get that or you can go fight the enemy I suppose okay, yeah the same here you can yeah. that's a choice yeah. but I mean, I, in this I, case this one is this a is just a walkthrough it yeah. doesn't yeah and it gets you too close to your end that why would you bother collecting so I think they did I do think they the core dynamic is collection I think they could have made some better choices yeah. in yeah. terms of how they designed their level to yeah to, to make that but it's there so, it, so I think it's probably at least at the good level yep um, uh, we're, we're, we're all happy with that. And feedback, what did they say they were told to do? And what so they... they had four pieces of feedback. Um, the first was advised to get a clear goal for the user, such as killing as many enemies or running clock time or highest yeah. score. Um, mm -hmm. So they decided on collection. Uh, then the second suggestion was to implement a, uh, additional features like power-ups or double jumping or special ability, which make yeah. the game more fun. Yeah. Um, the they decided to go for the double jumping. Yeah. Uh, then, so that, that works because I think without that it would have lacked kind of mechanics. Yeah, it, it would have. Yeah. Um, the next one was to design the tutorial so the player would be guided and introduced to the main controls and features. Yeah. And boy, did they hear that! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so they have they put in six, yeah. um, and they put a they very specifically put a freeze. So you had to actually yeah. stop and read. Yeah, exactly. Not that so, I stopped and read, but that's... Yeah. <laughs> so so, so that, that to me sounds like the good level. So feedback was articulated, reasonable changes have been successfully made, and what's stopping it being excellent is they haven't fully interpreted that into their game. They've, yeah. kind, of, they've, 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 they've kind of done it quite literally. Yep. Um, but and still, it's still good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And then their fourth feedback, which they also just did, was background music, and they did it. Yep. Good yep. job. Yeah. Okay, um, that's the last game for this batch, so we will see you in another video. Thank yeah. you all. Thank you.